One of my favorite questions uh, when I'm having a conversation with someone like one-on-one -on -one, social event out to lunch or whatever, one of my favorite questions begins with the three words, did you know, did mm -hmm. you know? And one of the, my, my favorite questions, okay. Josh is, did you know there's a way that you can use retirement funds and earn unlimited money per year, penalty free and tax free or at least tax deferred. And like you ask that kind of question and they go like, it's like, no, I like never heard that there was something like that. So talk about the attention getter. Now, Josh, I'm going to ask you a question that I get asked all the time and I want to hear your answer. All right. And here's the question, Josh, where do you find all them mom and pop private lenders to loan you money? Ah, that's great. Yeah. Great question. Um, look, man, they're everywhere, but I've learned over the years of raising a lot of money. There's really two sort of proven places or ways. Um, okay. The first one is meetups. Okay. Meetups. This is a category that I look at meetups. What I mean is face-to-face -face events, seminars, uh, could be inside of Facebook groups, uh, places to meet with and talk to people one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. This is important. One-on-one, -on -one, Jay, like you and I are talking now. Where can you go to meet more people one-on-one? -on -one? Uh, could be the yacht club, could be the golf club, could be uh, you know, the homeowners association, the home builders association could be the apartment association could be the next real estate investor networking function, but meetups is a great place to meet people one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. Now the secret sauce to those meetups, you know, like everyone used to carry business cards. A lot of people don't carry business cards anymore. When I meet with someone at a meetup, I offer them my cell phone number. So I say, Hey man, great to meet you. Great to talk to you. Um, when people ask me what I do, like, so if I'm at a meetup, the best thing to do, Jay, is to ask someone else, Hey, so, so what are you up to? Like, what do you do? Right. And of course they're going to say, Hey, I'm in sales. Hey, I'm a doctor. Hey, I'm a teacher. What are they going to do in return? They're going to say, well, Josh, what, you know, what do you do? Especially the guys, right? The guys, like the women, they can talk about all different kinds of important things. Like guys, we usually talk about sports, the weather. And then what do you do? That's what we do. Like, that's how guys operate. So when I'm at a meetup or a function, a seminar, a sporting event, whatever, and I ask somebody, what do they do? Of course, they're going to reciprocate and ask me, what do I do? Well, when I answer that question, Jay, what I say is I don't say I'm a real estate investor. I don't say I'm in apartments. I don't say I own you know, a private equity fund. What I say is I raise capital for real estate. We buy, and then you can insert whatever you buy. For me, it's apartments now. We buy distressed apartments and we pay our investors a fixed double digit rate of return. Yeah. And then I just stop. Right. And then they always say, like, you know, I'll give you, I, I've done this so many times, Jay. Let me tell you how people respond. Number one, if they're older like us, they say, hey, oh, kind of like Carlton Sheets. Because they remember Carlton Sheets back in the day. I said, yep. Or if they're a little bit younger, they'll say, oh, kind of like HGTV. And I'll say, yeah, yeah, sort of like that. Or they'll say, hey, I've always wanted to buy a rental property. And they'll say, well, how does it work? And I'll say, well, it works great. You know, and if, and if you're interested in learning more or talking more, let me give you my cell phone, right? So giving starts the receiving process. So giving, I give them myself, hey, look, you know what? Like we're at this game or we're at this function, we're networking. We can definitely dive into it. I'd love to share it with you. And you could even use the comment, Jay, you just used, which is the did you know, right? That did you know comment, add that in. That's a good, little bit of good spice right there. And then what are they going to do? I say, hey, let me put, give you my phone number. Why don't you text me back with your number? And, you know, next week I'll follow up and we can, you know, get on a Zoom call or we can, we can get, you know, face to face, get a beer, grab some soup, whatever. So that's the first place is meetups. Now, any more for me. I don't do a lot of these meetups, but it's great for people to get started. Okay. There's one-on-one. -on -one. What I do today is what I call the one-to-many approach. 
The one-to-many approach is that we've created a content machine. We're leveraging technology, podcasting, YouTube, StreamYard, blog posts, uh, Facebook groups, Facebook lives, LinkedIn groups. And we put out so much content. And I'll honestly, and Jay, it starts with podcasting because I have a voice. I don't want to sit and type and write or create graphic images. What I want to do is talk. I want to put out my message. And then my team of writers, content creators, you know, uh, graphic designers, they can create all kinds of things from podcasts. And then that always leads to the next step, which is engagement. Engagement is when we're asking them to opt in, right? So whether you're at the meetup, the opt-in comes in the form of exchanging the cell phone numbers. If you're running and building a content machine so you can recruit investors online, the next step is to get them to engage through an opt-in, which means they visit your website, they they opt in, they opt into your investor portal, or they opt in for a free report, or they opt in to buy one of your books, Jay, like you just offered, and they engage, right? And then there's a follow-up process from there, but that's really where it starts is those two ways. I don't do a lot of meetups anymore. I do do speaking engagements from time to time, but we are a content machine. I put out about three or four podcasts a week um, and we recruit hundreds and hundreds of new investors a year because they often, they, 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 we feel authentic. They like our content. We're following up constantly through new content and then they opt in and engage. And then we take them down another path from there, but that's where it begins. Wow. I love it, Josh. I love it. Thank you.